Hello and welcome to the second FBF Awards, the FBF Awards for 2012. It's taken us slightly longer to get this video out this year, but I think we're in a much nicer place because of it. This year has been huge for the site. We've had so many different events that we've gone to and we've got so many more planned for this coming year. We launched the FBF Network, so we've now got Autofire, we've got Pixel Gaiden, we've got A to Play and we've got Draw on Concept giving us great content coverage over everything. There are links in the description down below if you don't know any of these websites. Go there and check them out. But without further ado, here are the FBF Awards for the year 2012. And the first FBF Award is one of our new ones. It's DLC of the Year, the piece of downloadable content that was most unique. Now, when we were picking the nominations for this award, we tried to steer clear of the, you know, buy this pack and you'll get three new guns. We went for the big DLC, the game add-ons rather than the mini expansions, the microtransactions. We wanted some big changes to the games. And so the nominations for this award were Mass Effect 3 Omega, Skyrim Dawnguard, Borderlands 2 Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty, Resident Evil 6 Onslaught, and the SSX update that added split-screen play. They didn't have a name for it, so it's a bit longer. And the winner for first FBF award of 2012, best DLC of the year, goes to... The Elder Scrolls Dawn Guard. The little add-on that added the ability to become a vampire lord or a powerful vampire hunter and wield a mystical crossbow in a plot to end the night or make it eternally the end of days for mankind. And without further ado, moving along to our second award, Indie Game of the Year. The nominations were The Legend of Grimrock, Fez, Deadlight, FTL, and Hotline Miami. And the winner for second FBF award of 2012, the best indie game of 2012, goes to Faster Than Light, or FTL, that great little space game that had people playing for hours to get to the end and be frustratingly crushed by the big boss, or just get lost along the way. And the third FBF award for 2012 goes to Multiplayer Game of the Year, the best game for multiplayer experience alone. And the nominations were Borderlands 2, Mass Effect 3, Minecraft, War of the Roses, and Halo 4. And the winner for Best Multiplayer Game of 2012 goes to... Mass Effect 3. And now we move on to the fourth category of the year. Character of the Year, the first of the returning categories. And this is being presented by The Maiden, aka Natalie a regular contributor to the website writing our book reviews as well as joining me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for Let's Playing. Over to you Natalie for Character of the Year. Hi I'm Nat and I'm here to present the award for the best video game character of 2012. The nominations are Max Payne from Max Payne 3, Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2, Haytham from Assassin's Creed 3, Kenny from The Walking Dead, Cortana from Halo 4, and Vars from Far Cry 3. And the award goes to... Kenny from The Walking Dead. Thank you, Natalie. And the fifth category that we have this year is Trailer of the Year, that cinematic masterpiece that makes you just want to play the game. And for this, we could only turn to one person, 
Benjamin Bayless, aka Ben Bale Gaming, who has done some brilliant Let's Plays with us and we're hoping he's going to do many more in the future. He is off very shortly to MCM Midlands to get some great correspondence for us there. Check out his gaming channel at Ben Bale Games and over to you Ben for Game Trailer of the Year. Thank you John. I'm Ben Bayless and I'm here to present the award for the best video game trailer of 2012. And the nominees are Syndicate with the official world announcement Skrillex trailer featuring plenty of gameplay footage and what you can expect in the game and enough slow motion shots to make even the Matrix jealous. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 with the surprise live action trailer proving the hypothesis that with such a popular game franchise your trailer doesn't even have to show what the game is actually about just as long as you've thrown the title at the end your audience will understand what the afros and horses were. Halo 4 for their scan trailer a trailer that shows a young boy on holiday who comes down with an illness resulting in him being turned into an angry killing machine until he's finally quarantined. Borderlands 2 with the fast paced live action trailer showing an explosive recreation of the emotional reactions from playing a game of Monopoly. And Bioshock Infinite, Beasts of America trailer showing stunning in game footage all the way through of a character who seems to be killing the residents of what looks like a beautiful city. And the winner is... Bioshock, Beast of America trailer. Back to you. Thank you, Ben. And we're back with some of the most anticipated games of the coming year. And I've drafted in a special correspondent all the way from Columbia, the setting of Bioshock Infinite, the floating city in the sky. We go over now to Ollie, friend of the podcast and regular Let's Player. Join us Monday, Wednesday, Friday as we play through some of the games. Over to you, Ollie. What is the most anticipated game of 2013? I'm Oliver Pede, and now is the time to announce the winner for the award of most anticipated game of 2013. The nominations are Metal Gear Ground Zeroes, Bioshock Infinite, Watch Dogs, Tomb Raider. Aliens, Colonial Marines, The Last of Us. And somehow this envelope magically appeared in my hand! But it has the winner. And the winner is... Watch Dogs. Thank you, Ollie. And I couldn't let anyone else present this award. This is Game of the Year 2012. What was the game that FBF fans played the most, loved the most in 2012. Nominations were The Walking Dead, the downloadable title from Telltale Games, Darksiders 2 from Vigil Entertainment, Sleeping Dogs from Square Enix, Guild Wars 2 from ArenaNet and NCSoft, Assassin's Creed 3 from Ubisoft, and XCOM Enemy Unknown from 2K Games. And this is the big one, FBF Game of the Year 2012 goes to The Walking Dead, the downloadable title from Telltale Games that goes alongside the comic book series and the TV show to tell a totally parallel story to both titles. It's an amazing game guys and congratulations for winning Game of the Year. And that's all we've got time for this year. I hope you guys have had fun. I certainly have. I'm looking forward to a great 2013. Dan and I have written up great reviews of what we hope to have done by the end of the year. You can find links to those in the description down below. And I look forward to seeing you next year for the FBF Awards 2013. Bye, guys.